Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. When you start throwing these sex robots into the mix, I'm I'm <coughs> predicting that you're going to pull at least 15 to 20 percent of men out of the dating pool. Uh, yeah, because they're just going to be satisfied with their sex robot. Yeah, here's what I wrote on in a, as a response. Uh, to his comment. So this is ba- basic market economics. Uh-huh. So your product, and that is a woman's vagina, Correct. basically, uh, is becoming devalued due to competition, risk, and market saturation. So the solutions are to improve your product, which I'm not sure how you do that. Yeah, you can't improve uh, so, Well, pussy, you can, though. You, you, can do, you can do you more. You improve the personality. You can do more with it. You yeah. can yeah. surround it by better things and not just think you can coast on. Not that all women think they can just coast on their vag. But there's a lot of, especially super hot girls, is just saying, oh, I'm super hot. I don't need a personality. I don't need to learn how to fuck. Yeah. I don't need to do yeah. weird shit. 100%. You're right. Uh, then the other thing is, um, well, my examples were hitting the gym or doing anal. Um, and then you can mitigate risk, perhaps, by proposing to men and offering in advance to sign prenups. Because part of the risk is that dudes aren't willing to surrender half of their shit anymore just for a piece of ass. Sure. Unless you're a private in the military, in which case they... Yeah, but no, what this... I mean, what it's going to turn into is essentially like they're just going to have to come up with a whole new value proposition. Yep. Because if, if, if we can have our needs met by an animatronic thing and we don't have to deal with the fucking bullshit that comes with, the, with, with it, then why, why wouldn't we choose that? Yep. So girls are going to have to become more relaxed, more chill, more like European women for the most yep. part, because American women, they, they're terrible. They, their attitudes are terrible. They're, 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 they just suck. Well, it's bad like, business to, to think that your product has more market value than what it really does, because yeah. then you're going to overcharge for it and you're going to get pushed out of the market by better and less expensive products. And again, we're, and when, so, when you say products, we're talking about pussy. So. Not not just her. Well, vagina. we're talking about the the person. Yeah, like, I'm not yeah. talking so the about total package. the well, person. No, is I'm, the product. I'm, the the vagina, and then there's those two other holes as well. Okay. Because Ross, like you think about this, you remove twenty percent of single men off the market. Like your late twenties and early thirties women that are single, like now they're they have to actually compete. It's no more. I'm sitting back and letting my Tinder inbox fill up. Now it's like they, they're going to actually have to pursue and be aggressive. And they're going to have to, like, like what Dan and I are talking about, you're going to have to be, come with new value propositions. So it's like, instead of showing up at the first date, like, like the dude's like, yeah, I got a sex robot at home. Like, what do I, what do I need this for? She's, well, well, I like other chicks. You know, they're going to have to, they're going to have to adapt to attract. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's funny. So, you know, Jesse watches those fucking Bachelor shows, my wife, right? Um, I walked in on one last night, Bachelor in Paradise. It was a girl. She was maybe late 20s, 28, 29. And she was crying in the camera about this guy didn't like her or whatever, didn't pick her for the fucking thing. And was just like, I'm tired of dating. I'm over it. I just want to find a husband and move on so I don't have to be in the dating circle anymore. Um so I can see, I can definitely see where this would start happening more and more, where it's just like, all right, great, we've got to step up our shit. But on the flip side of that, does that mean dudes get lazier because there's going to be... It absolutely will. Yeah, like, dudes are going to get become, lazier. And, and they'll become more demanding. Like I'm saying, like, you're not going to choose a girl unless she's showing up saying, listen, we'll fuck three times a day. I'm bisexual. We'll bring girls home together. I won't complain and I have a job and I'll make money for us too. Like, it's like, oh, okay. I think it's a good thing. And here's why. Uh, one, I like aggressive women, but it's not just a good thing for me. It's a good thing for the species at large because it gets, it pushes shiftless layabouts out of the gene pool. So do, yeah. dudes who are content to just fuck a robot and not use it, you know, recreationally. Yeah. They're, they're gone. They're out. Yeah, And then women who are too dumb to realize their position in this whole situation or too lazy or too arrogant or whatever to fucking like mold themselves to match the market, they're gone too. Right? Yeah. And now it's only alphas banging, making babies. And then well, yeah, we can yeah, dominate the fucking world, dude. Exactly. You're right. It, it's going to correct itself is what's, what it's going to do. Yeah.